Adam, I forgot to tell you that I collect just card payment, no cash. That's fine. Thanks for understanding. You are welcome. Oh my god. The girl I meet at work today. Wow. That girl is sexy. Here. Love, I have been calling you, but you didn't pick hope. All is well. You got me worried. Yes, baby, everything is fine as not long I came back. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm glad you are okay. Have you eaten? Yes, I have. I still have the food you prepared yesterday. Miss, how is work? How is everything going over there? Everything is fine, my love. Thank you so much. I can't thank you in you for this big sacrifice you made for me. Stop thanking me, my love. I did it for us. You know how much I love you. I love you too, baby. I can't wait for us to be married. You can say that again, love. I am loving the job already. That's good to know. How is your friend Jessica? She is fine. Talking of Jessica, my love, do you know what happened? Okay. What happened? Do you know Mr. Wilfried? The man running for the Minister of Health. Yes, yes. What happened to him? Nothing happened to him. He is interested in Jessica, and how is refusing him. Oh, really? How did she meet him, and why is she refusing him? She met him on her way home, and the man came to drop him with his limousine. Wow. Jessica is saying men are destruction that she don't want. Well, she must have her reason. Give her so many times she will come around. It's okay if you so. My brother, I am so happy to see you again after such a long time. The last time I visited the United States you told me you aren't coming back but thank God you changed your mind towards it and I must compliment your brother. You made a very good decision. Thank you so much brother. I have really missed you. Look at you wow you are really doing well for yourself my dear. Thank you so much. I am leaning from my big brother you thought me not to be lazy. All thanks goes to you. No thanks, I'm just doing my job as a elder brother. I promised our parents I will take good care of you. And you have been doing just that. I watched your campaign bro, you did really good. Our country will be so lucky to have you as our Minister of Health, because health issues has been a very big problem in this country. The poor masses die every day, because they can't afford hospital bills, while the rich fly abroad just for medical checkup. Thank you, I know all this that's why I want to change all of this if the people give me the chance of course. I believe they will. My brother I have been thinking lately. About what? Hope nothing is wrong. No everything is fine, just that since you got divorced with your wife you have been alone considering the fact that she is aboard with the kids, and you all along by yourself here. Don't you think it's time to get wife most especially now that you are running for the ministers of health having a wife will complete the responsibility. You are a wise man my brother, thanks for your advice. On a contrary I have thought of it and I have someone in mind. There is this girl I met yesterday she is so cool I think I like her, oh yes I do. Oh that's more better. Please try to get to know her and her background, because it's very important you get married to a very responsible lady considering your status. Sure I'm working on that, so can we order food now? I am so hungry. Sure, hopefully next time we see each other I will be eating your wife meal. So fast, take it easy my brother. What are you doing here, Mr. Wilfried? Good afternoon, Jessica. Good afternoon, sir. Please pardon my manner, I'm just surprised seeing you here. That's okay, I understand. Don't be angry that I paid you a surprise visit, that is because I have been calling you but you refused to take my call so I decided to come see you. Oh, I see. 
I was busy that's why I couldn't pick up. So why are you here? I came to take you out for lunch but I have something to tell you during lunch. That's so nice of you but I have already eaten moreover I did plan for this, some other time I'm a kind of busy now. Well that okay, when will it be convenient for you? It's important please. I will check my schedule then I will text you later in the day. That will be lovely, will be lovely. Let me leave you two back to what you were doing. Yes thanks. <laughs> Good day, sir. Good day, you are? Philip, you sent for me, sir. Yes, that's right. You are the new employer. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Philip, you can have a seat. Am I in trouble, sir? Not at all. Good. Mr. Philip, I am missing some documents from you. Your resumed letter and application letter is not here. Sir, submitted everything to the manager. Is that so? I am supposed to see everything right here on my system. In that case you can leave now I will send for the manager. You asked to see me sir. That's right. Is the manager at the office? Yes sir. Please ask him to see me. Right away sir. Greetings sir. Good day manager. Could you please send me the new employee details? Sure sir. Thank you. Babe you look tired. Have you been working? Yes and no. Yes and no, what kind of answer is that? Which do you want me to believe? Yes was working until Mr. Wilfried came uninvited. You mean he was here? Yes he came earlier today. Okay. That is good news. Oh yes, obviously good news for you. Babe, take it easy, I believe that man wants something serious. So what did he come to do? Can you imagine he wanted to take me out for a lunch date without appointment? Okay, I got it. But you would have go with him. No, madam. I wasn't hungry, thank you. Moreover, I was busy. What side are you even in? You are making me feel like you have been to him, have you? Hell no. Good. You don't expect a man to come from nowhere and expect me to go with him just like that. You are very correct. I have made another appointment with him. Good girl. It's my pleasure. So where are we going? Don't worry, we will soon get there. You will like it. Cool. Thanks for the meal. It was delicious. I told you you will like it is a special place new in town. I knew it because it's actually my first time here. To know that I'm the first person to bring you here. Jessica I will go straight to the point. I like you a lot I know you must I have know a bit about me and my political career. I'm very careful in whatever I do. Okay. And? The point is that I need a very responsible lady to get married to. As you know a man shall not live by bread alone I have been single for years and empty too. I have studied you for some time now and you are the lady I love to feel that emptiness I make sure you are okay, I can give you love and protect you just say yes please. Wow. This is a lot for me to download at a time, I will be needing some time to think about it. Of course please take all the time that you need no rush. Thanks. Thank you so much my lady. Lols. I think we should be going. That's okay, I will drop you off. Hey. Yes, my bills, please. Sure. On the table, sir. Quick table at the right. Your bill is 100 dollars, sir. Okay. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Princess, you still haven't answered my question. What was the question again? About your past relationship. Well, I never wanted to talk about it because it's not something I like talking about it, but since you insisted, let me cut it short. Thank you. I once had a school boyfriend. We were so much in love, at least that was what I thought until he came to me on that faithful day that he has gotten a visa to move and work in Canada. He wanted me to help me some money for ticket and other expenses of which I did. He finally moved and started working immediately. He promised to have me join him so that we can start a family over there. But after a few months I never hear from him again. His phone number wasn't connecting, no contact, no information about him till date. 
That must be very hard. I'm so sorry, Angel. Did you try to locate where he was living? I tried, but no one knows his whereabout. Don't worry, baby. I'm here now. I promise you will never experience such again. I hope so. Hi. I understand the CEO was asking questions about you. Yes, that's correct. But everything is okay now. Sure. He wasn't around when you were employed. So do you mind telling me about you? Sure. But let's start from you. I'm Chantal, the secretary to the, the manager. Is that we already know about each other? Right. I'm single, no boyfriend, no husband. I have a sister and a brother, but I live alone. I'm not married, I live alone too, but I have a girlfriend. Girlfriend. Yes, but we can be friends, you know. True, we can maybe grab a coffee one of these days. It's not a bad idea.